In today's video, I want to share with you guys a method that will save you tens of thousands of gems and it will earn you millions of silver, guys. Welcome to the channel, everyone. I'm Scratch. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. We finally got the seven day login champion, guys, Rattalos Blade Master. And probably you guys are wondering what can this champion actually do? I've done quite a few different videos on the champion already where we tested his damage and stuff, but I want to show you one thing that will completely change your game, especially if you are not familiar with this method. I've done a few videos in the past, like a few years ago, uh, on this method, but I want to show it to you with Rattalos Blade Master, guys. How you can actually save tens of thousands of gems. Now, if you are familiar, probably you guys already know it. And yes, I am talking about soloing the Minotaur with Rattalos Blade Master, guys. He can do it in approximately 20 to 30 seconds based on what other champions you have in the team with him. Now, I quickly want to make a disclaimer because a lot of the times when I'm doing videos like this, people tend to get confused. You are not leveling up food in this dungeon. In this dungeon, you are leveling up champions that you took to level 60 and that uh, you want to use and you want to get masteries for them. That's what you're doing. This is a method that will save you uh, tens of thousands of gems and will earn you millions of silver. I'm going to make the breakdown for you guys in just a second. Let me just quickly explain you how this will work. So basically, you have Rattalos Blade Master, which will solo the entire dungeon. These champions don't have gear. Now, because the gear on my Rattalos is fairly decent, I don't need these champions to have gear whatsoever. If I would actually put gear on them, this will slow down the process because they will end up in taking turns. Now, if some of you guys might be struggling a bit with the build on your Rattalos and you might not be able to get him to completely obliterate all, this, uh, all these waves, putting some gear on these champions before, so putting them... Uh, equipping the gear on them before you're uh, getting the masteries done will help Rattalos too, but it will be a bit slower. Or, of course, you can put Rattalos on a lifestyle set, but we're going to try that as well. So let me just quickly show you how it goes. Usually people, they just click on masteries and purchase masteries with 800 gems. Now, the reason why this dungeon doesn't have more stages than 15, the reason why this dungeon will never have a... Uh, uh, double runs like the super raids is because Plarium doesn't want to make this dungeon more efficient because that will hurt their uh, their uh, income from gems basically a lot of people purchase the masteries and it's a big mistake especially especially if you're trying to uh, to preserve your resources and you're trying to be efficient all around so this was a, a bit of a slower run for whatever reason i'm not even sure exactly what happened probably some of the champions they buff they have very slow animations and that's why uh, that's why it happened but how you may notice you are getting 7420 silver you are getting some uh, some uh, points for the cvc because we are farming this as well rather than just wasting the the gems you know and we are getting scrolls on the champions that we are planning to use in the cursed city i repeat again you do not farm food in the minotaur guys no food, only champions that you are building and you want to get masteries for, okay? So let's actually go to champions, recently used first. And for example, we have the Ostrox Bone Glaive, okay? I want to use this champion in the Cursed City. Let's just say right now I want to I wanna get this champion ready. You know, I, I need him tomorrow. Well, you have the option to get all scrolls with 800 gems. And then I'm going to have to take him in campaign. Uh, get levels for him to get him to level 60 or I gotta go to the tavern and put bruise in him just to take him to level 60. This is one of the methods that most of the whales are doing, okay? Then of course you have the method that I'm showing you right now in this video. Let's just say I want this champion and I want to get this champion in as well for the Cursed City tomorrow. Well, you know what? My method is not wasting 800 gems, is going back to the Mino and just farming it. I put on my multi-battles or auto clicker. If you are playing on the PC, you can get an auto clicker. Uh, uh, RSL helper is actually doing an amazing job. And let's just say I only have two champions that I want to get masteries on. Or maybe I only have one. It doesn't even matter. You can use either one, uh, either one champion, either two champions, either three, either four. Either way, it will save you gems. It will uh, give you silver as well. So let's just say we're doing a run with one champion only. Well, you know what? Rattalos will one-shot that wave. We'll use the A to right here. We'll one-shot the other. 
And once he's getting his uh, uh, A2 back, uh, back on track right here, he will be doing some crazy damage on the boss. 13 seconds. 13 seconds. And the uh, actual run didn't even went that good, just for the simple fact that uh, the cooldowns of his skills didn't actually activate it as, uh, as good, you know. So right now, if we're using the A2 or the A1 in just a second on the boss, look at that damage. 421k. Just banging the boss down. Crazy, crazy damage. And then slowly he's picking up everybody and just dealing uh, dealing with the boss slowly, you know, and just clearing clearing this for you. Now at the same time, we're getting the silver, we're getting the masteries down for the champion, and we're getting his XP up. Now let me just quickly break down everything for you uh, with text. So it costs you 800 gems to purchase masteries, and that's it. You're done, you don't need to do nothing. You're not getting XP on your champion, you are not getting silver, and you are losing 120 gems. It costs you approximately 2,200 energy to get masteries on one champion, okay? So, splitting that to 130 energy, which is a, ref a full refill, that will give approximately 17 refills. 17 refills multiplied with 40, that's the cost of a buying a refill, 40 gems, gives you 680 gems. So I'm already saving 120 gems only for one champion. Now, remind me guys, for how many hundreds of champions we need to get masteries in Raid Shadow Legends? 200, 300 now with the Cursed Siri, maybe 400 champions, right? So just do the math and see how many tens of thousands of gems you are actually saving. Then, not to mention that you need a gazillion XP to level up one champion. So per fight, you are getting 20,760 XP. Now, that will get split uh, in between all the champions that you have in the fight. Right now, we have two champions in the fight. So each one of them will get 10,380 XP. Now, Rattalos is already at max level, but it doesn't matter. He's still taking that XP to himself and he only gives half to Crackart. If I'm bringing in uh, multiple champions, three champions, each one of them will roughly get a 7,000 uh, XP. Four champions, 5,000 XP. Five champions, 4,000 XP. So each one of these champions will get XP. Now, the good part right here is that if you are doing, for example, five champions in a run, okay, that means that you are going to level all of them up to level uh, 60. The reason for it is because you're doing, instead of doing a uh, 2200 energy right you're gonna do 8800 uh, energy and those are way more many fights than uh, you initially started with so that overall will add up to the to the xp and all of them will get to level 60 while you're farming the masteries now if you're only doing one champion it will get to approximately level uh, 54 if i'm not mistaken around level 54 with the 10380 xp per fight but the good part is that you're getting 7,420 silver per one run, okay? So it will basically be the equivalent of doing 157 runs with 2,200 energy. That will give you 1,150k silver, guys, okay? That's how much silver you're getting from doing one champion in the minor for masteries. If you're farming four champions, you're getting 4.5 million silver. Silver is so freaking expensive. Expensive to purchase, expensive to farm, and it goes like this because leveling up artifacts is super expensive. And just think about Cursed Siri now, especially. It literally drains all your silver with no questions asked. Then, of course, you can... Uh, Calculate a bit, you know, you earn 1.1 million silver for every champion you farm masteries for. So just multiply that with 100 champions, right? How much silver you're getting from there is crazy. Then think about 120 gems for every champion you're farming masteries for. You're saving 120 gems for each one of them. 10 champions, 1,200 gems. 100 champions, 12,000 gems that you can invest in getting ancient shards and summon a brand new legendary champion that can be wow or farm better gear for uh, for your champions. I just wanted to break this down for you guys and remind everyone that it's very, very important to do this method. 
Now, I repeat again, you do not farm food, okay? You farm champions that you are using, that you're leveling up to use, and you want to get masteries on them. I am keep saying that because I remember it a few years ago, a couple of years ago when I've done a, one of these videos, I had so many people saying like, Scratch, why, why, why are you doing food in here? You know, it's, it's just not food, guys. So let me just quickly show you the build that I have on my uh, Rathalos Blade Master. Probably some of you guys actually saw uh, a part of it yesterday. I do have him right now on a Merciless set. Now, a Merciless set is not mandatory by any means, okay? If you have a Savage, if you have a Triple, uh, triple Cruel set, if you have a Instinct, right? Lethal Gear. That works perfect. That really brings his damage to full potential. And some of you guys might be wondering, but well, Scratch, doesn't this champion ignore 100% of the defense? He does, only with one skill out of three skills and only against bosses, okay? So having Savage is still very important for this champion to really deal damage. What I like about him is that he has a, an attack aura for dungeons, which gives him 30% extra attack for the dungeon, guys. And then he's going to open with this, increases his crit damage, bangs the first wave down. Then he moves over to the A2. The second use of the A2 becomes AoE. And what I like about him again is that when he has this skill available and he's at a minor with the minions alive, he's prioritizing the boss directly. He's not messing around to use the skill on the minions, which is huge, okay? And either way, the second hit will be AoE, so it won't really mess you up. But he is prioritizing the boss regardless. And with A1, you have a chance to land defense down unresistible. So you don't need to worry about accuracy. Let's just say, for example, that this build is a bit too too out of reach for the majority of you guys that are planning to farm this dungeon. Let's actually quickly build him on lifesteal with lesser stats because that will overall just kind of like show you that uh, you can do it with lifesteal if you don't have uh, any anything uh, anything better than that. So I'm going to try to look for the weakest lifesteal gear that I have available. I kept a few pieces that are not perfect and they're five star because most of you guys uh, will will have a few decent pieces of five star lifestyle gear. If not, you're gonna have to go and farm it, guys, and then come back to to this strategy. You know, it's fine. It's absolutely not not a problem. What I would suggest to you, if you are uh, going with lifestyle gear, guys, is to make sure he's going to be over 200 speed. So definitely go with speed boots instead, because that will be very very important, just to ensure that he's gonna go on a two to one ratio versus the waves. You know. That will definitely help him uh, quite a bit. So I'm just trying to see if I have attack on any of them with crit rate. I would prefer to use 5 star boots, but that's fine. Uh, 6 star, sorry. These are 5 stars. They look pretty good, actually. Those are a bit too yummy to use them on him right now. So we're going to look for a pair of 6 star boots that are not that wow, you know. Let's go with these ones from, Fro uh, from Frozen Banshee. Or these ones. These ones from Frozen Banshee will, uh, will get the job done. And then we're going to go for a, I don't know, speed set maybe, right? Attack. Do we have a, or maybe even a broken set? Doesn't really matter. What do we have from there? Five star, five star, no speed, but that's fine. We can lose some speed. And let's look for a Cree damage, uh, Cree damage gauntlet. We're dropping C. Oh, we're actually pretty fast. I can change the banner because we're too fast. And we are dropping this. Okay, so the attack is at 5k, and seems like I need to quickly uh, sell some of the some of the gear, guys. Just because I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough space. I forgot about that. There we go. You see, CVC day, you're doing all this forge, and uh, you forget about them. My God, I still need to sell more. All these five five stars can go. Okay, so we're moving that gear on, and I'm going to change the banner because the banner has uh, too much speed. I don't need that much speed. We're going to go for one that might not even have uh, speed, you know. Let's see. I think I have one that doesn't have speed, if I remember it correctly. There we go. So that will lose exactly 25 speed. I think I need over 103 speed, so 104 speed. So this will be his total stats right now. 5k uh, attack. 206 speed, full crit, 250 crit damage. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that he might not do it as fast as I just showed you before, but he will still do it uh, in a good, uh, in a good uh, 
manner of time, you know. He won't be staying there for five minutes. And this right here are the masteries, guys. Now, because initially I wasn't running life still, I actually had life drinker on. I have a whirlwind of death. This will give me even more speed if I'm under 200 speed. As soon as I kill the first wave, I'm going over 200. So going on a 2 to 1 ratio with the, with the enemy. And I have Helm Smasher as tier 6. Some of you guys might prefer War Master if you're planning to use him only in the Dragon Dungeon or stuff like that. But overall, I feel like Helm Smasher will benefit his uh, entire kit more because he has multiple skills that still don't ignore defense. And you really don't have a cap on, a, on the damage there. Unlike the, the War Master, you know? And we have the Defense 3 because we don't need to have a, a support. And that's still better than doing it with a full team because when you are doing it with a full team that's leveled up, so the main, the main way of how people are farming Masteries are, okay, this is my 5 seconds team for, for the Minotaur and uh, I want to get Masteries right now on this champion right here. Where, where are we? My god, so many 6-star scratch. What are you even taking them all from? So we want to get Masteries on this champion. That's how people farm Masteries. Oh my god, I have double Royal Guard. I'm quickly dropping the Minor. I have Seer for the waves. But then only one champion gets the XP. And you're wasting basically three slots right here that could give XP to your champions, okay? That could uh, allow you to save Bruce and save energy that otherwise you would use in campaign, okay? Keep that in mind. Very important. So. We're doing it with Rattalos Blade Master. Let's actually go back to recently used first and put this champion back in, a, in the run. Let's put two of them. So right now we have a completely different build on Rattalos. 30% more attack from his, uh, from his aura, guys. We haven't one-shot the waves because we don't have Savage, okay? Which is fine. It's not a problem whatsoever. As long as we are slowly dealing with the, with the waves, you know, when that A2 will get at the boss, it will just completely destroy. Okay, it will completely destroy. And that's basically what, uh, what matters. Here, even if the other champions die, it's actually very, very good if they die because uh, that will uh, save us time. You know, it won't take us as long to, uh, to kill the boss because of uh, less animations, you know. So we buffed, increased... A decreased defense, 364k hit, and it's still 40 seconds, guys. It's still 40 seconds with a lifesteal Rattalos Blade Master. So my advice to every single one of you guys out there, unless you're the filthiest Kraken, do not buy Masteries. Solo them with Rattalos Blade Master. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you smash a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.